Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to set up YouTube videos for Magento 2. That's right. So we're guessing that maybe you've clicked on the add video button and you've tried putting a YouTube URL in there and it's telling you that you need to put a key in there or an API, something or another, and you don't know where to start. And the good news is this is dead easy to do. And if you can manage copy and paste, you can do this too. So with that said, Dave, let's jump across to our desktop and go and get this set up. It's only going to take a minute or two. So Dave, in a previous video tutorial, we set up a Thrustmaster joystick within our Magento catalog. And obviously this is only a test product and you can do this for your own products. And by the way, do follow us along while we're going through this video tutorial too. Remember you can hit pause and rewind at any point in time. Now we're guessing that you've seen the add video button next to your images and video section. And maybe you've gone in here to add a URL for a YouTube video, but you're seeing the notes which says to add YouTube video, please enter your YouTube API key first. And if you go to add a video in there, so let's go and pop the whole URL in there. And Dave, you may get this warning as well. Attention, the video cannot be shown, the API key is invalid. Don't panic, this is really, really simple to do. Now, the mistake which I made, this is the only one mistake which you can make. If you click on the link which says enter your YouTube API key, it will literally just change the whole page, but we wanna be able to get back here. So we're gonna right click on that link and choose open in new tab. Now this will then take you into the configuration section and then expand out the section which you're after, which is the YouTube API key. Now I'm guessing you're wondering where on earth do I get a YouTube API key? So up on your screen, and of course, underneath this video tutorial will include the link for you, is that if you type in console.developers.google.com forward slash projects into your web browser. So we're just going to pause a moment where you type that out and then you'll be transferred across to the Google Developers site. And do note, you will need a Google account to be able to sign up and use their services. Obviously, there's some limitations, but the average e-commerce store won't reach those limitations. So we're guessing that you're already there. So Dave, let's jump back to our screen and we're gonna to go to our projects tab. Now, just a little note there is that if your screen doesn't look like ours right now, don't panic. You may have a screen which looks like this one or on the left hand bar, you've got an option in here and then you click on your API manager and you may have a slightly different screen to this. Don't panic. You can still reach this section by going and clicking on your project name if you have one or not and then click on create a project. So Dave, we need to name the project. So we're going to call it YouTube Magento 2. Now, that's what we're calling our project. What we would suggest that you do is call it your domain name and then call it YouTube API key. Okay, so maybe we should really be calling this understanding E Magento to YouTube API key, like so. Oh, and there's a limit on there. So we do that, there we go. We'll call it M2 instead. And then click on create. Nice and easy so far, Dave? Yeah, super easy. Next, we need to make sure we've got that project selected. So Dave, we can see the project name up here. The page is refreshed. If you've got a different project selected. Just drop down this list and then choose the right one. Then on the left hand side, we've got YouTube APIs and you want to click on the first one called YouTube Data API. Next, you want to enable it. So click on enable. This will take a few seconds. Don't panic if it takes a little bit longer. Now, Dave, the reason why we came in this route, see this warning here, this API is enabled, but you can't use it in your projects until you create credentials. So click on go to credentials or on the left hand side, just go and click on credentials on the left. Now we've got the YouTube data API v3. In the next drop down menu, choose web server. So e.g. Node.js or Tomcat. And then what data will you be accessing? Public data, make sure that's selected and then click on what credentials do I need. Then for the name, you can just leave that as server key. You can of course go on to add specific IP addresses as you see fit, enter those as you need. And if you're not too sure, just leave that field blank and then click on create 
API key. Excellent, Dave. We've been provided with our API key. So we're just going to make sure that we've got all of that line highlighted. Right click and we're choosing copy. We'll click done while we're at it on this page. Now, if we go back to our Magento configuration and settings section where it says YouTube API key, we're going to paste that in there and then click on save config. So Dave, basically so far, we've typed in consoledevelopers.google.com, created a project, gone through a couple of drop down boxes and gone copy and paste. Nice and easy so far? Yep, super easy. So Dave, the next one is kind of obvious. We do need a YouTube video, which we want to add to our product page. We've been and found this one off YouTube. We're going to copy the whole URL from the top like so. So we've got the YouTube.com and then the watch and then the V and see Dave, you can see where it says V equals. Yep. That's the actual video ID, but Magento 2 is much easier because you can just copy the whole lot. So instead of worrying about just getting the ID off the top, which I know that you have to do with some of the Magento 1.9 extensions, with Magento 2, you just copy the whole lot, right click and copy. And if we now go back to our products within Magento, now if you don't refresh this page, you'll get the same error message as what we had originally. So we're just gonna reload this page. And obviously in your case, if you've made any changes, press save first, because if you don't refresh the page or save the changes, when you go to click on add video, and then to go to paste in your URL at the top, then it won't work. You'll get the same API message. So I've pasted the YouTube URL in there. If we now click, aha, can you see it's been populated? Yeah, also filled in a load of detail. Did that pull that off through the YouTube API? Yeah, it did indeed. It was really, really quick. And then we've got the options to set the role of that. I wouldn't personally suggest setting the videos as being your base image because then it means that you're going to load up videos and all your catalog and your search pages and so on and so forth. Probably going to slow the site down a little bit. It's going to slow the site down just a tad. <laughs> And by the way, that was me being sarcastic. You definitely would not want to do that because it really would slow down your website. So we've been and added that in. We're going to click on save. Now, it's not very easy to see in this section. So we're going to go and click on images and videos, or we can just click on images and videos on the left. And Dave, just like a product image, we've got the YouTube video, but you may know it's a video because it's got the video camera icon on here. Now, maybe we want to add that as the second image on our product. Okay, so there's our base image. So that's the image which customers see when they do a search on our Magento website or gone through one of the categories. And it's the first image which they see. But the second image isn't actually an image. It's actually a product video. So with that organized in there, we can then go and hit save. And of course, if we then go on and view our Magento website, is that that video will now be available. Now quickly, Dave, before we go, it's also worth pointing out that we can edit the settings for that video at any point in time by double clicking on that image. So maybe you wanted to change the title at the top or the description, you can do. So if I just click on cancel, so you just double click on the video and you can change any details about it. And of course you can also delete that video from that product too by clicking on the delete button or the delete link in the top right hand corner. So Dave, before we go, what I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to quickly go and re-index our site so we can actually see this product with this product video on the front end so that we can see what customers would see on our Magento website. So we'll be back to you in just a few seconds time. So we've been and come across to our Magento 2 website. We've got the products in the category. So let's go and click on our product. So Dave, that first image is the image which we say has been the base image. So just like normal, okay? And we've got our additional images in here as well. But Dave, there's our video. As a customer, if we now click on the video and then click on the play button. Oh, look at that. There's our video, which has been embedded on our product page. Now, before we go, the API key, you only need to set up the once. You can, of course, add multiple videos to your products. And the logic which both me and Dave would give you is very, very simple for the reasoning behind why you would want to add videos to your product pages is actually very simple. Is that if this video is eight minutes and seven seconds long, that's eight minutes and seven seconds which your customer or your potential customer is not shopping somewhere else for that product. Also with videos, 
is that it allows your customers to actually almost touch and feel the product as well. So even if it was a very simple video of maybe the product rotating, for example, it helps your customer interact with that product in a different way or a way beyond just images. Does that make sense, Dave? It does. And just to add to that, Matt, like you were saying a minute ago about if it's an eight minute video and that's eight minutes that they're not looking at the competition, there's almost like a psychological feeling of investing in your website. They've invested eight minutes of their time now on your site, which means they are so less likely to go elsewhere. It's unreal. Yeah. So in short, we're saying it's going to help with conversions. It would help me. It would help Dave. And it would also help you as a customer understand and be able to see that product in a new level. So we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. And on that note, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So from myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.